Hello, and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode 114, brought to you every Friday, more or less, not the last few, but most, most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm your host, Anton. We have with us a very special guest, Hayden. Welcome, Hayden. It's uh, great to be back, Anton. Um, it's been a while. How was K-Scope? K-Scope was great. Um, I learned a lot, and one of the big topics of K-Scope um, is actually something we're going to cover today a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, it's always great to see people, and that's actually more important than anything is the opportunity to catch up with uh, friends and, and uh, colleagues. So uh, missed having absolutely. you there. Absolutely. I, I was sorry to have to miss it. Yeah. But I'm very glad to be back with you today. Um, I have once again um, a, uh, a challenge that um, I'm hoping that you can help me solve. All right. Well, as people know, we have five minutes. Let's spend a minute um, talking about the challenge before we actually click on the, the starter starting gun. And I also have a little uh, new segment after um, our five minutes today, so people can stick around that for that Excellent. if they're interested. Um, so, what's your challenge? So, uh, people who are used to Apex are, are, perhaps are so used to this that they've ceased to see it as a problem. But I. I've always seen this as a problem, and I still do, which is you need to maintain competing hierarchies between breadcrumbs and page navigation. Yeah, and we talked about that once before between net page navigation and like landing pages that you want to show just the children as cards, that kind of thing. So you, you actually have these three things that really all represent the same hierarchy, and you, you end up keeping track of three or four or more um, components, you know, breadcrumbs, lists, nav bars, nav yeah. And in case uh, people don't entirely know what I'm talking about, perhaps we could share your screen and, and talk through an example. Yeah, yeah. So let's just look at it here. So here we have the, a great example. We've got, these are the cards I was talking about. But if we go to people here, um, and this people is a breadcrumb. This artist's is a breadcrumb. But on the left, it's a nav bar. Right. So... To, to exhibit the problem, um, can I ask you to change the um, the navigation menu hierarchy um, and, and we can expose the frustration? Sure. So uh, really quickly, navigation menu. Artists are actually people. So maybe artists should actually um, go below people. So if I make this the, the people, um, and I'm going to change this to really highlight this as a problem. Um, so now if we do this, we can see this is under the hierarchy here. And this is artista, artista, but this says artists. Yeah, and to me, it makes no sense that I have to um, now update the breadcrumb hierarchy to reflect the same change. They sh I should have the option to have it default to be the same source of truth. Absolutely. Um, so um, so let's, let's, let's show um, a solution to this. I'm gonna say that the solution I show today is not going to be my ultimate solution. I'll publish it. I think it's, it's really valuable. From a, a thought process, but we can talk about um, a better solution that's that's in the works. But this is still, I think, a very valuable kind of lesson. Um, so I'm going to kick off my timer. Uh, so at Kscope, um, one of the real themes was the new template component uh, plugin. So there's a new plugin type called template components. Um, and when I looked at this, I thought, okay, well, this breadcrumb it could be could be um, based upon a query, but you can't base, breadcrumbs don't let you base them dynamically. They're static always. So before um, we, we go in that direction, so you're going down the path of having the source of truth be the navigation menu that, that informs the breadcrumb. Uh, and to your point, you can't make a dynamic breadcrumb, but you can go in the other direction. You could have, you can have a dynamic navigation menu. So you could write a query that just reflects the breadcrumb hierarchy. Absolutely. You could definitely do that. And I've, I've actually done that query and it works well. The, the problem is navigation menus have more features. So you, you lose features if you do that. But if you go, so you can't, breadcrumbs can't point to other things. It's, mm -hmm. um, navigation menus just have more features. So I, I really wanted to go from the navigation menu to the breadcrumb. Um, okay. So what I did was I, I first um, went out and looked at the shared component of the breadcrumb itself. So if I go to my templates and I look for the um, breadcrumb uh, type right here, and it turns out this thing is super simple. It's just a UL, an LI, and like there's almost nothing here. Yeah. So I just, I took this 
And there's a new shared component type of um, a plugin type uh, called template component. Now, you can have these things in a couple of different ways. Um, I'm going to look at this one. This is the one I created. I've published this. It's on my, my, um, uh, my GitHub repository. You can just download this. But what it has is it's almost simple enough that you could just essentially copy and paste what you have here. Oh, yeah, almost exa it's, exactly. It's very simple. It's, you know, it's a few lines. Um, but the hard part is actually what's in the help here, this query. The way template components work is you define the look of them here, but then you define the query when you actually run them. It's kind of like using a classic report template, um, but nobody wants to touch the, the theme anymore because the universal theme is kind of locked in place. So these template components let you do the same kind of thing. Um, so I've got this template component. All I have to do is go to this page, page four, um, for artists, and I'm going to use that template component as my breadcrumb. So here, I'm going to create a new region. I'm going to call it BC2. Um, it's going to be of the type um, breadcrumb from navbar. It's right here, breadcrumb from navbar. You copy this query. It says use this query. So this is the query we're going to use. Um, and um, I'm going to use breadcrumb from navbar up here. That's it. Uh, and I'm going to change to this query. Pop and the query, query looks familiar. Is it the same query essentially from episode 95 when you talked about the navigation menu? It's not the same one, but it's very close. It does a connect by. That one didn't need a connect by, but yes, very, very close. Um, and then all I have to do is set the attributes. So I set the label to be the label, the level to be the level, the target to be the target. And boom, I save that. I run it. Now we'll see that my, um, my breadcrumb, oh, I need to do one more thing. Let me set the, um, the, the region uh, template to be title bar. That's, that matches what a breadcrumb should be. So we got that. And here we go. We've got artists now. And it does this. So I can get rid of this one. Nice. Right? Um, and so let me just really quickly copy this same, or actually on the next page, on the artwork page, um, I've already got it here on my artwork page. I've already put it here. Let me just show what happens if I move artwork underneath um, uh, artists really quickly because artwork belongs to artists. So I'm going to come and back to the nav bar. This plugin preserves all of the functionality of the breadcrumb. So authorization, linking. Every single thing. Absolutely. So I'm going to just edit my artwork. I'm going to call it, instead of artwork, I'm going to change it to art. And I'm going to change the parent to be the artistas, apply that, and we'll see that right away, artwork, if I use this, looks like that. So the obvious opportunity to state the uh, is to get rid of the breadcrumb and just use your plugin. That's right. Exactly right. Um, and so I have 17 seconds left, which is not enough, but I want to show the, the, the other thing that could be really cool in this. So... Um, you can take this with what I've done with it, but I think it's important to see what I'm about to show. I'm gonna turn off my timer. This gives us the opportunity to put this on page zero and not have a breadcrumb on any particular page, right? So if I go to page, if I edit this page and I simply copy this to page zero, next, copy. Okay, so now it's on page zero, and that's great. He's gonna show up three times now on this page because I've got the, 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 the page zero one, the one on this page. So I, can, I could delete it from this page, but you can see it now will be on every single page. Um, and if I don't want it on a particular page, all I would have to do is um, in the page zero one say, don't show it for a particular page. Yeah. This is great, okay. right? Now you never have to have a breadcrumb anywhere except on yeah. page zero. Is there, is there perhaps a caveat? And there is a caveat for sure. The caveat is, for some reason, there is a bug. And the bug won't let you put template components on page zero. You can put them there. But once you put that on page zero, check this out, you cannot use the builder anymore. Well, who needs to use the builder? <laughs> the builder is broken. You can't, I can't edit any page. Go to page five. I can go to I can go here and, and pick a page, uh, you know, top users. But there you go. Yeah, that is 
definitely a bug. <laughs> so, uh, a, and it's a, probably a bug that you can't fix without the help of the Apex team. So no, no, they're going to have to release a, a, a patch for this. Right? I yeah. will show it is possible to recover from this bug. If you go to page zero, go to page zero, it looks like this, hit shift refresh. Now it will actually edit, let you edit page zero, delete this from, the, delete this from your page, save it. And now you can get back to editing things. Um, so, so what is a, um, so, so short of Apex releasing a patch, is, is there another approach that you can try? Yes. Put um, it on page zero? And, and th this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write a regular plugin and my regular plugin will actually be much easier. I've, I've decided that, and, and the regular plugin will interrogate your theme and your template and it will, it will do this and I'll publish that plugin um, and we'll do another tip on that. Uh, but I think that this was instructional because these template components um, are interesting. They, they work well um, and people can use this one right now. It's, it's there. Um, the query that I'm going to use will be the same query um, or ever so slightly different um, to get the nav bar. And, and, and I'll, I'll release a real plugin for doing this. Um, before, before too long. Um, so there you go. So I think it's a, I think it's a couple of opportunities here for the Apex team. One opportunity is let breadcrumbs be, just let breadcrumbs be based on a query. That would be nice. Yeah. The other one is don't have template components break the builder when you use them on page zero. Um, so. And, and Haniel is making the point, uh, <coughs> the great point that there are, um, uh, there's functionality in the existing breadcrumb as it stands that allows you to make it slightly dynamic, but but the hierarchy isn't dynamic. That's true. That's true. Yes. Um, uh, so there you have it. I think um, I, I like uh, I like the option of basing it on the, the nav bar myself. So um, let's see. Um, yeah, personally, I can't understand a single use case where you'd want the hierarchies to be different. Uh, I, I will allow for the possibility that I, I'm not saying that no one should do it, but I personally have no use for it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, the, the, the and, and, and having to have a breadcrumb region on every single page seems silly to me too. put it on page zero. And then if you don't want it on a particular page for some weird region reason, just say where, you know, the page is not in a comma separated list and, and there you go. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, so, uh, all right. So if people want to leave, uh, blah, 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 beat it, you know, all that. But I, I do have a little, um, a little fun uh, game to show. Um, this is our game of the week. Uh, and we'll go ahead and share my screen. It's the Align game. <clears throat> this game um, is very cool because if you start playing this game now, you will be among the, the first people in the world to have done it. It's only been released for a couple of weeks. So if you start your streak now, you can have one of the longest streaks in the world. You can, you know, be those Wordle people that have been doing Wordle since the very beginning. Um, not to mention uh, my daughter-in-law-to-be is the, the, the one that invented and, and published this game. Um, oh, wow. So um, uh, way to go, Michelle. I'll show you really quickly how it works. Um, you, you, the goal is to get all of the numbers to be the same. Mm. So you can see... Um, you can add or subtract the entire row. So I can do this. I can add or subtract. You can rotate the row so that it rotates up or down um, or left and right. Um, and so the goal, if I'll start over here. So I've got some fours here, some fives, um, you know, some ones and threes. You know, I can, I can start moving things, things around and saying, well, if I move this over and this down, I can get some more fours by doing this. Uh, excellent. Maybe I can make that. Um, uh, I'm just going to really quickly say I'm going to move this one up. Uh, oops, so I shouldn't do that. I want to move this one over and up. And now I've got another four. Maybe I can get two more fours like that. Okay, so I'm getting pretty close to fours. At any point, at any, any rate, at some point, I should be able to get to the point where I have all fours. Um, and then, then I win. And, uh, there's a counter that uh, counts how many moves it essentially takes you. That's right. So, so far 11 moves. 
Um, and the lower the number, the better. The lower the number, the better. Let's see what today's best is. Today's best is nine. So somebody managed to get um, to get all of the same uh, number in just nine moves. And was that you? That was not me. I have this is I, I actually just saw this puzzle today. Um, so, uh, um, and I'm not quite sure how to get there from here. Um, but I think I could do something like uh, I don't know. I can probably subtract, uh, move it over, subtract, move it over, subtract. Oh, okay. Now I've got threes and a four here. Um, anyway, I haven't figured it out yet, but um, but there you go. Now I'm not. I'm threes instead of fours. It hasn't helped me much. So I will give this game a shot. Thank you. All right. So it's uh, A L. I nine N game dot com. Fantastic. All right. So if anybody um you know gets gets a nine today on their first go, uh, congratulations. All right. Um, we should get, we should start a five minute timer and, and only allow people five minutes. But hmm. I guess that's <laughs> that's all I have for today. Hayden, anything else? I uh, know. Um, I wish everyone a great weekend. Bye-bye, everyone. Do all the things. See you.